Hi, guys. Hi, this is Sody Pop. His name was Geralt of Rivia. Joshua? Drop the payload. He was a witcher, a professional uh, monster shape. slayer. Yeah. An unusual yeah, contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess. Dusk Hopefully till this dawn. Blow out your drums, but if I'm only she out. were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait. Looks very different in this one. Yeah, um, from what I've seen of The Witcher 2, it's kind of a blending between this game and then 3, like, in just art and style. Like, just, I guess that was the same. <sighs> it's, like, like a blending. it's like a blending, basically. Yes, yes, it is. It shouldn't. Yeah. I've, I've got the dead cat on, so. Yeah, yeah, that should help. For those of you who don't know, a dead cat is the name of a the cover that goes over a microphone to help block out an extra sound. Yeah, we actually we got some higher tech, so. Hopefully this works out. I really hope that we don't have to just scrap this again. Yeah. Our, our capture card is not... Well, our, our PS3, rather, is not capture card compatible. No, so this is... Well, those of you who know anything about The Witchers, this game is PC anyway, but we're doing it with a capture card because the recording tech we had on our computer just was not happy with The Witcher primary. So hopefully this capture card works better. Indeed. And we got a mic. So my voice shouldn't sound pitchy and awful anymore. <laughs> nice about this cutscene as opposed to a lot of others is it's not not dialogue heavy at all so we can just kind of chit chat about it. Yeah. For uh, those of you who don't know much about The Witcher, this is actually a scene from one of the books because The Witcher was a series of books before it was a video game adaptation. This creature he's fighting is called a Striga, and it's a cursed princess. screen is well a lot better than our computer screen yeah someday someday we'll have just a nice desktop setup but for now we just have we have a dinky little laptop it's actually a pretty decent laptop I shouldn't call it a dinky little laptop but in comparison to a desktop that was Really an anticlimactic <laughs> the punches and she just dead drops out of the air. Like there's no arc or anything, but like the rest of this fight has been really cinematic.
So here's my question. Yeah. Being someone who doesn't know a whole lot about the Witcher. Okay. Right. So if you if, if if you guys in the comments know, are you guys watching know the answer to this? Assuming that I don't. Yes. Assume. Yeah. Assuming that you don't. <laughs> um. Does it? Does the Witcher universe like explain why these creatures have a weakness to silver? Um, I have not read all the books, and it's certainly not addressed in the games I've played. Other than the two, um, it seems to be, and I would guess it's based on real world mythology, where silver is considered a pure metal, and these creatures are not pure, therefore silver hurts. But I haven't read all the books, so he might have a different explanation. And God help me, but I cannot pronounce that author's name. It's Polish. <laughs> Polish guy. Literally what I just said. No, I just named him Polish guy. Oh, okay. Sure, my nails. Can I fix my cuticles? But yeah, as you guys can see... He wasn't trying to kill her. He's trying to break the curse. <laughs> she wasn't 100% broken. Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War. The time of the sword and axe. The time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Can I? I think. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna just go with a new game. Hey, by the way, um, Morgan's playing. Sodi Pop is playing, not me. Yeah, he wasn't having fun. I'm just not really good at, like, certain yeah. types of computer games. And honestly, like, I'm still getting my legs with this, so we're gonna do the easy. Um... We're gonna do that. It's like, I, I keep looking up between the two screens, <laughs> like, which one do I look at? I think I will, I will actually enjoy this better though, like doing it this way than how we've been doing previously. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Age isn't dead by the way. We're gonna revisit that, we're just trying to The Northern Kingdoms out. nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst okay. forests, where they prepared for a final desperate fight. Try and keep these Abominable about beasts an hour. ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin, the year 1270. Five years after the Great War. I've actually gotten about halfway through this game on my own. Because um, I was like, oh, so I can just play this because Josh is going to be playing it on the channel, so it doesn't matter if I play it. But that doesn't mean I'm good at it, so, you know. She's being modest. I don't remember how to do much, because it's been a hot minute. That's part of the reason we're starting from the beginning, so we can get the tutorial. And I'm going to go into settings as quick as possible, and hopefully, like, I'm going to turn a lot of the volumes down. As a precaution. Okay. Because if it was like, oh, that was actually a decent volume, I didn't need to do that, then we can fix it. But I don't want to. Where am I? Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I love Esther so much. So the Witcher 
walking beside the cart is Eskel. The one walking beside the horse is Lan- uh, oh man. That's Vesemir. I almost called him Lambert. I don't know why. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Karamoran. To me, just animation in general is impressive. Whether it's digital or like hand drawn animation, it's impressive. But. Oh, yeah, for sure. A lot of that's just because I can't animate. There's my boy. He looks very different in Witcher 3. I mean, not like so different that it's like. Leo, Who the hell is that? Get Triss. Triss. Triss is very much like. Because I've played Witcher 3 quite a bit, actually, on my friend's system. And I played this, and I was like, who is... Your time nears its end, witches. Redhead chick. Enjoy things while you can. And then I realized it was Triss, and I was like, oh! You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> so you're gonna find out that I'm not the biggest fan of Triss Marigold. I think she's a really cool character, but I kind of hate her. I mean, maybe, maybe he's just not worth I did severely dislike her. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morin. And this, uh, game... Um, she has some very, uh, It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. Yeah. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Weird boob physics. Um. Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's uh. mine! We got company. <laughs> I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. I really hope the capture is like the way it is on the recording screen. 
Does it look a lot better? It should be. By oh, all yeah. means. It, it looks a lot better. Yeah. I like this laptop. I really, so, truly do. But... Just, like, throwing in commentary. As someone who does martial arts, the feel? games get better. <laughs> they, I mean, these early games do actually have some decent swordplay stuff. But, like, like I've seen these moves in, in medieval manuscripts, but, like, rather than being, like, going to, like, a HEMA <laughs> expert, it seems like they just took straight out of the manuscripts and... Um, the thing about, like, medieval manuscripts, they're, they're a really good source, but you have to account for artistic liberties. And limitations. Yeah. But gosh, I love these games. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate. They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Ooh, the lag is real. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. I I just think that that creature, the frame rate does not like that creature. The Frightener? Yeah. Potentially. Well, there's a lot of, like, magic They're stuff going around here. along Get with ready. it, and there's a lot of dudes there, but it's like when you come up on the Witcher gang, the frame rate's a lot better, so that's... There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! Yeah, the I don't know. Is the professor. Murder for hire. Electronics aren't exactly magic. my forte. A sorcerer among them. What's that? Sorry? I was reading subtitles. I said electronics Professor, aren't exactly you know my way. forte. Yeah, we'll be getting better at that. Yeah. You know, hun, you could turn the volume up on the TV if you want to hear it. That's yeah, okay. Okay. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I think I might I don't recognize this look sorcerer. up at the TV Marigold, just to I'm interested in whether you can do disarm this because it looks so much better. <laughs> I'll try. They're coming. It really does. And it doesn't hurt my back as much, because to, to look down noises. at the laptop, I have to kind of hunch over. Because it's exactly. on my lap! <laughs> Esco, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where oh, there's I a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? I love all my Witcher They're just boys. bandits. Though one might be infamous, you must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Oh, it wants me just to look at each of these things. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured that out the last battle, friends. Eh, not completely, obviously. You're, you have to have pretty good timing. Did you drop something for me? Did you? No? Okay. Okay, we got some boys. You'll regret the day you were born. Sometimes I click and it doesn't really respond, so if I'm just sitting there, believe me, I'm, I'm actually clicking. It's just, it's a little like... I, I think it's the lag. It might be, but it kind of does this to me just in general anyway. Yeah. Like, see, I, I've clicked there, but it's okay. I can... I can live with this. I do find it like I always find it funny in video games that like 
the enemies have like a flight zone, almost. How do you mean? Well, like they'll just be chilling there until you get within like cer a certain distance of them. Oh, okay. They ha it's a what do they call that? An aggro range. Yeah, I just I think it's funny because it's like. It's they're essentially watching their buddies okay. get killed by this witcher, and they're just kind of like, they're just kind of like, okay. What I really like about The Witcher Three that I don't like so much about this one is that you can just kind of focus on a style, and you can just make that work. Oh shit. <laughs> um, like. Um, when I played Witcher 3, I pretty much always went for speed, and I could make that work, because, like, you can get upgrades to- well, I mean, you do that upgrades here, too, but if you try to use a- the fast style against a strong opponent, it's just not- a strong style opponent, I should say, it's just not gonna work out for you so well. Okay. And technically, I could be using the keyboard keys to be changing between styles, but having played on my own, I figured out that it's a lot easier for me to just hit pause and hit the the icon. So, sorry if that's obnoxious for y'all. Cutscene. Yeah. Geralt's like, I can't take them, and I'm like, bitch, you can take them. <laughs> Through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. One thing I really like about three is oh, that you can you. actually like you you can change Geralt's like hair cut and whether he has a beard or not. I think I mean again, I I know next to nothing about two. But from the cutscenes that I've seen, it seems like... Get in there. It seems like you can do that, but I don't know. Whoop. You. You'll regret the day you were born. Yeah, yeah, this is coming back to me. I'm not good at it. But it's coming back. Loot any of you? That would be really cool. Oh yes, I can. Give me. I love Care Morn so much. Personally, as like just like looking at it, if I was looking at it from like a real estate perspective, like do I want to buy it? I would probably be like, well. It's actually, like, set up-wise, it's a really good castle. It just needs repaired. It needs repaired so bad. Oh, she's she's just in such bad shape. My poor girl. Mess with me and die. Okay, I do have the right style. I was like, I think I was a cat. Hurry, open the gate. Yeah, give me two shakes. How long have we been recording there, bud? Yeah, I got about five minutes. Okay. There we go. Oh. That was funny. What? It hadn't quite rendered the wheel yet, so it looked like he was like just sitting there doing some stretches. Oh, I hadn't even noticed. stare at it and kind of glare a little bit and then, and then like in, in blocky synchronization <laughs> damn it Geralt it's a miracle you're alive 
You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. <laughs> the professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Oh. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Tris, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Tris may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember the idea Leo's of Geralt doing a I stealth mission we'll see what's happening inside and be back. It's a little funny to me. Take these I mean, you do do them. Case. It's just it's, the it just doesn't seem very in character. <laughs> I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure But again, no one else I've only read inside. one book. Tris, stay with us in case And I've read none. Any new ideas. Yeah. I really want to read the rest of the books. Uh, oh yeah, potion. So Well, Oh yeah, I'll play with my inventory. Yeah, we should probably outro here. Yep. <laughs> so, thanks for joining us for this episode. Um, if you liked it, hit the like oh, button. Here. If you're yeah. new to the channel, hit subscribe. Yeah, that'd be really cool. <laughs> and if you want us to cover a topic from this video in our sister channel contact us on our patreon at patreon.com slash perkins university we'll leave a link in the description yeah yeah but bye. uh <laughs> oh, sorry yeah sorry pop out bye, bye.